Okay, the next one, create a histogram of the following test scores. Uh, okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 scores. Uh, for this one, I probably want to create my intervals um, maybe in tens, so 50s. I, I know that my smallest number is 50 here. My biggest number that I see is a 96. And because of the, because these are test scores, it'll kind of help me see, okay, how many fall under the, and you know, how many scored within the 50s and 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Okay, so then let's just create um, our intervals. 50 through 59. Then 60 through 69. 70 through 79. 80 to 89. Then 90 to 99. Okay. So, let's see the first one, 50, right there. 56. 82. And again, what I'm doing is um, the first thing I did was create my intervals to see how many will, um, how many groups and how many numbers will fall under each group. And then now I'm taking the numbers and the data and I'm go going to tally it into the groups okay, to see how um, the frequency of each interval. Okay. The next one is 79. 71. That's my there. 65. 90, 85, 83, 64, 96, 92. Okay, that means this way I can kind of see, okay, that means I have, um, if you scored within 50 to 59, that's an F. So two Fs, this is a D. 2 Ds, 2 Cs, 3 Bs, and 3 As. That's good. We have um, majority of the scores being Bs and As. So this kind of helps you see, right? It kind of helps you see, okay, well, how many of each um, there are. Okay, so then once you have this done, you can go ahead and create your histogram. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit longer. Okay, so then I have five intervals, five groups. So it's going to first right there, two, three, four, five. This will be 50 through 59, 60 through 69, 70 through 79, 90 through 99. Okay. And for the frequency, so the, these are all the scores, right? Label that scores. Then this right here is always going to be the frequency. And um, here, the group that occurs the most is uh, three. One of these, which is three. So one, two, three, and four. I just I always like to do one more than I need. One, two, three, four. Okay, then um, let's just create our bars now. So then the first group, 50 to 59, is two. So you're going to draw the bar up to two. Okay, the next one, 60 to 69 is two. So also two. Oh. Two. The next one is also two. Two C's. Uh, the B's, we have three of them, and I only have three colors, so I'm going to go back to black. Go up to three. And then I'm going to use blue again. 90 to 99, so the A's, three of them. Okay. 
So that's our histogram. And then that way we can kind of see our data a little bit um, clearer rather than uh, when they're listed out like that. If they're like this, and I can see, okay, well, since um, these are all the different scores, F, D, C, B, A, I can see where um, how frequent each of them are, right? So that's the whole point of the histogram. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching, educator.com.